on such and such a day yeah. I was supposed to be reporting to you know Oakland Army Terminal, and so so when I failed to report, then I was officially able. And by see. that time, you decided that instead of thinking I'm packing up the jalopy and driving down with Sue and I'm going to go to Vietnam, at that point, your it sounds like your experiences in the Bay Area had led you to make to move to the decision that you weren't going to Vietnam. You well, were exactly. going to resist being deployed. I had decided because I had once I saw the demonstrations and saw the cops beating people up and stuff. I mean, I literally saw him like club a pregnant girl, and you know, it was just like, you know, I just it was just beyond me. I mean, it was like this is what this you know because the propaganda in those days is what we were fighting for is democracy and the American way, and you know, if we don't stop them over there, we're going to have to stop them over here. And and of course, what had not occurred to anybody it was the, and what the GIs found out when they went over to Vietnam was that the Vietnamese didn't have a navy, and you know, so it wasn't any question about stopping them over there, or else they'll have to stop them over here because they didn't have any capability to come over here. You know, I mean, they didn't have that kind of boats, <laughs> so what coming over here and stopping them over here that was just like a bullshit. But 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 that whole notion of all of that stuff was um, was you know was strong in people's notions and. And so, uh, you know, the defense of democracy, all that lie just went right out the window as soon as they saw the cops acting like they did.